The CEO of U.S. Bank is apologizing after five investigates revealed a black customer was accused of fraud and handcuffed while trying to cash his paycheck. This week, investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen first showed you police body camera video from inside that bank branch there in Columbia Heights. Eric now tells us why the bank is no longer defending how that customer was treated. In this letter to the community, CEO Andy Ciceri now takes full responsibility for how customer Joe Morrow was treated at a branch in Columbia Heights last year. The manager of that branch called police and accused Morrow of fraud after he tried to cash his paycheck last year. But the body camera video we aired earlier this week shows officers briefly handcuffed and detained Morrow before the bank called his employer and confirmed the check was real. Our story is bringing nationwide attention to an issue that civil rights advocates call banking while black. In the letter shared with us just this afternoon, Ciceri writes he is deeply sorry for where we failed. He goes on to say U.S. Bank is revisiting and expanding employee training. That commitment addressing at least some of the demands made in the last 24 hours from the Racial Justice Network, a local civil rights group. They can't just put on their website that they value diversity and inclusion and equity. And then when they have the opportunity to live those values, to turn the other way. 